What do all of these animals have in common? They all take Cosequin, the number one veterinarian recommended joint health supplement brand used to improve mobility and comfort in pets. So if your pets are showing signs of slowing down, it may be their joints. Try Cosequin. Whether it's your dog, cat, or even your elephant, help keep their joints lasting longer with Cosequin. Buy Cosequin today and get the best for your pet, the trusted brand everyone else compares to. Welcome back. It's hard to believe it's a tail end of our show already. You know, several weeks ago, my crew and I traveled to Yorktown Heights, New York to visit the Guiding Eyes for the Blind. This organization has so many heart-wrenching success stories. Last week, we introduced you to Amy Dixon, a blind sommelier. This week, see how man's best friend is helping bring a musician's dream to life. Hey, pretty baby, you show a heart to me. My name is Blessing Offer, and yes, that is my given name. Won't you give me a chance? I'll never treat you wrong. And you let the mother fellas know that you are spoken for. I came to the U.S. from Nigeria when I was like six to get treated for the glaucoma that I was born with. Right in between third and fourth grade, I'd got shot in the eye with a water gun and it detached my retina, which pretty much, you know, set back everything they were trying to do and that kind of progressed the vision loss. Kind of hit me really hard and I had to admit to myself that maybe, uh, maybe things are gonna change a little bit. At around the age of, you know, 11, 12 was when my vision really became what it is now, which is relatively non-existent. It was hard to be a teenager Anyway, I think the hardest part was, you know, the sense of self, you know, owning the blindness as part of who I was. You can't run around and play sports. You can't, you know, get your license. You can't do what everybody else is doing and you have to find a way to still relate to everybody else anyway. I fell in love with music probably when I was around 10, uh, after I started losing my vision. And uh, part of the reason I fell in love with music was because it was really the only thing I could do and not feel like the blindness was getting in the way of it. There's, there's like a freedom, a carelessness, um, just a simplicity and a joy to it. After you play it enough, you just it feels like something your fingers don't even have to think about. You're just familiar with it. It's like almost anywhere you put your hand, something good happens. It's, it's a good feeling. Good boy. Good boy, Tom. Good boy. Having Tommy has changed my life in so many ways. I don't know that I would have been as brave about New York or Nashville if I were just dealing with a cane. Um, I think Tommy opens doors. Um, possibilities are endless with Tommy. There's nothing in the way anymore, literally and, and figuratively. So now I'm a professional musician in New York. I can get to gigs, get on subways. Tommy makes it a breeze to just cut through mobs and mobs of people in the middle of Times Square and not even give it a second thought. I mean, I travel a lot. Uh, in the past month, I've been on three planes and a lot of trains. And in a few weeks, I'm uh, playing at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Tommy really allows me to be unbelievably independent, completely secure, and I honestly have no problem going anywhere. I always told myself that if this music thing ever worked out, all the money I made, or at least a lot of the money I made, would go to Guiding Eyes because I, from the bottom of my heart, feel so indebted to this organization. Wish Blessing the very best. Matter of fact, you can find his CD on the Guiding Eyes website. All proceeds from the sale will go towards the good works of the Guiding Eyes.